In a developing country, our hospitals are making the delivery of quality health care to the poorest of the poor as the great equalizer. The majority of our patients in here are poor, uh, it's about 80%, and uh, roughly if uh, they would seek private health care, then it would be a problem since uh, they don't have the necessary capital resources for it. Since this is a high volume hospital, uh, we're, we're looking at almost 900 to 850 to 900 uh, average patients a day at the emergency room. Uh, you're looking at uh, the uh, OPD uh, outpatient delivery of almost 750 a day. You're looking at uh, inpatient of 1,200. So it's, it's a high volume time of hospital. And I have to make sure that I will be able to give uh, Quality service for all. And quality service for all means highly competent and highly trained medical people. Quality service means improved facilities. I think one of the uh, one of the things that we really uh, improved on and actually uh, sourced out was coming up with uh, diagnostics and uh, improving the facilities with enough uh, services that we can provide so that uh, the poor can actually gain access to our healthcare. Quality service means making the latest technology available to the poor at the click of a mouse button. Quality service means ingenious innovations. Dito ko sa SPMC, sir, may color coding kami. Like example, pag NPP po kayo, orange card po ang binibigay namin. So, ibig sabihin, pag orange, alam na yan ng laboratory, ng pharmacy, at saka ibang department na NBB ito, unlimited kahit ano. All these without asking the patient to pay a single centavo for quality health care. Miembro po kayo ng PhilHealth. Kailan pa po kayo naging miembro ng PhilHealth? 2,000 plus. Magkano po ang babayaran ninyo sa hospital? 17,000 na kasi. Uh, magkano po yung tulong ng PhilHealth na nabigay? Malaki, malaki naman sir kasi zero, zero naman kami sir. So wala po kayong babayaran? So yung 17,000 na dapat ay babayaran ninyo, sa tulong ng SPMC, sa tulong ng PhilHealth, wala po kayong babayaran po ngayon. Uh, ang tawag po ito ay no balance PD. Nagpapasalamat po ako sa PhilHealth kasi Malaking tulong nila sa mga mahihigap, sir. Uh, ano po ba ang trabaho nyo nga pala? No, ano lang, sir. Magsasaka. How did SPMC make all these possible for the poorest of the poor patients? PhilHealth actually is our anchor. In other words, uh, you cannot talk here of uh, financial sustainability. Improving our operations if PhilHealth is not around. 80% of our financial sustainability or, or resources actually comes from PhilHealth. What about the patients who are not yet PhilHealth members? We were very aggressive with this help out the poor in terms of their financial risk protection. It would be to enroll them to a hospital sponsored member at PLC. Doon na po kami naka-apply ng PhilHealth libre po sa gobyerno. That's how we are able to uh, improve on our hospital uh, uh, upgrades, uh, improve on our number of people uh, and employment of uh, people around, improve on the different areas of the facilities. And we were actually uh, making sure that uh, field help will also help us along the way in terms of a capital uh, uh, support. How is PhilHealth improving the lives of the hospital employees? Secret ingredients are we have competent uh, staff. Because of the PhilHealth honorarium every month, it's a big, big help talaga sa family. 
Kaya happy talaga kami. It's a big, big help talaga. Malaki talaga ang tulong. in the number of field health patients that we have, this is actually in direct uh, uh, proportion to the increase in the amount of field health that's been uh, giving to us in terms of capital or in terms of uh, our field health benefits. If more field health patients are treated at the hospital, the higher will be the amount of benefits from field health. I'm much thankful that with Kalusuga and Pangkalahatan, uh, the number of field health members has increased tremendously from 2007. We only had uh, roughly about, uh, I think, 32% of uh, all admitted patients uh, under field health. And uh, when uh, the thrust for uh, universal health care came about, the Palusud of uh, and then there were uh, the local government units, and definitely also the DSW, the corpus began rolling. Uh, indigence and field health. Gradually increased about uh, roughly 41-42%. This also made it possible for us to be more sustainable. The Phil Health Annex Ward is fully air-conditioned. They are treated with the dignity they deserve. After all, they are paying patients too and not charity cases. How do you use the efficiency gain you receive from PhilHealth's all-case rates, the more recent major change in PhilHealth's policy? A disruptive change in PhilHealth. Disruptive in a sense that actually uh, there is a, a, a new a change that, that came along. You can actually give the common good to everybody. That's a no-brainer. You, you need really have a very good very good source of uh, you know, financial uh, link, uh, especially if running a, you know, a big hospital like this is a problem that uh, we have to act on. And then that's the uh, capital resources that we're coming in from field health, which we also use in terms of uh, upgrading more and providing more services. And once uh, we have this kind of uh, capital resource coming from field health, it's easier for us, therefore, to be efficient and effective. Ano po ang may paglilingkod ng field health para sa inyo? I think I can ask no more from field health. Ang field health, ang laki po na may tutulong sa amin. Ay, sobra, sobra, sobra. Super. Super talagang tulong sa amin ng field health. Kawawa naman yung mga mahihirap. Talagang walang wala talaga how fulfilling it is to serve the poor. The most important objective here is not looking into how capital efficient we are in terms of uh, you know, the income that we generate out, out of this institution, but rather our social obligation and how the social responsibility and obligation to the public. And that for me is a lasting fulfillment.